girls so I have a uh, first impressions video for you today uh, it is on the BB cream by Garnier I uh, picked up two of these last night I have two different versions I got the one that is for is anti-aging and then I also got the one that is for oily skin where's the box it looks like this combination to oily skin and I'm sorry if you, there you go um, it comes in this little tube it's 2.0 fluid ounces for the combination to oily skin and the anti-aging is 2.5 fluid ounces it's a little bit different I'll show you a little bit different packaging whereas this one's a little bit shorter and fatter this one's a little bit longer and skinny 0.5 fluid ounces more in the anti-aging formula for this video today I am going to be using the combination oily skin in the shade medium deep and I'm gonna try not to look off to the left girls because I do use my iPhone to film so I don't have a, a, a mirror behind me that I can see so to see my face I'm gonna be looking into the camera which looks like this I'm gonna try not to do that I'm gonna look at you <laughs> but bear with me uh, in the future hopefully I plan on getting some better film me equipment so like I said bear with me and I love you for it okay so again combination to oily skin I already have my face done my eyes are very simple today like I said I'm pressed for time I'm not using a primer in this video I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to set um, the product or not I really just with my first impressions videos I really want to give you girls like the real deal holy field like bottom line how this product performs on its own without any help from a primer or you know possibly a setting powder I might have to set it's just habit we will see I'll decide at the end but I'm just gonna jump right in with the application girls and what I'm probably gonna do is cut this video here in the morning um, maybe do a little bit uh, a small segment in the mid-afternoon on my lunch break at work so I can show you how it wears throughout the day and then I will finish off the video this evening before I wash my face so let's get started I'm just putting it on the back of my hand and I'm just going to dab it around now I've heard that this product gives amazing coverage and I am very very excited to hear that Ooh, got it on my lip to want to eat it um I'm excited because obviously you girls know my skin I don't have the best skin so I'm not really familiar with BB creams I think I have one that I've ever used in my lifetime and it is the cover girl um, smoothers I think I have it I'll grab it for you in a second but it did nothing for me it was kind of it was just basically a tinted moisturizer and I need a little bit more coverage than that hold on girls I need my brush so I'm just going to be using my expert face brush by Real Techniques to buff this out as usual. Let me hold up my mirror because I want to. I want you girls to see me putting it on. Like I said, I've heard amazing things about this product, the coverage, um, the fact that it claims or not claims, but the reviews that I've heard so far that it gives you a natural you know glowy finish that it looks healthy um, which is always a good thing you want to look healthy you don't want to look dead or diseased <laughs> who wants that um, so so far I, I like I like the way it's applying um, and it's just one thin layer that I've put on so far so it is glowy. I look a bit dewy, to say the least. And it really does give you like a healthy glow to your skin. Sorry if my mirror is in the way. I was a little bit scared that the shade was going to be a little bit dark for me because based on the videos that I've seen, uh, the girls that I've watched are a little bit darker in complexion, but I really think it matches pretty good. What do you think? Okay, so this is just one, um, is that lighting better? It's better, right? Um, one thin application, one thin layer. I am going to put a little bit more around my chin to see how it builds up for you because I do prefer a little bit more coverage here in my wonderful chin area aka my trouble zone okay so one layer and I'm gonna go ahead and do another one 
Um, trying to decide if I'm going to be setting. I swatched it on my hand last night just to see, you know, because I was impatient. I just wanted to see how it smoothed out and blended in to the back of my hand. And it did set to a nice finish. It wasn't tacky at all. I'm talking myself to a decision, <laughs> if you haven't uh, noticed. Okay, so, and I'm not using a mirror, I'm just using my viewfinder. Um, here we go. It is building up a little, you know, not too, too shabby. Okay, so here's another thin layer on top, and it does seem to build pretty nicely. Sorry, I just want you to see. I know it's up close and personal, but it gives you like a natural finish. I really do like it. Okay, I'm just going to pop on a little bit of concealer. Uh, what am I going to use? I'm going to do my under eyes. Woo! Just using my Maybelline Age Rewind. And I'm not putting on a lot. Just a little bit. And I'm just going to use the same brush for here. I didn't sleep much last night, girl, so I am in dire need of the under eye concealer. <laughs> um, I came home last night to a halfway flooded apartment. Yeah, evidently the maintenance guys were flushing out the sewers and went a little crazy. And it, this is all according to the landlord. I have no idea what I'm saying, but this is what he told me verbatim. That they went a little bit overboard with the flushing and it overflowed into a pipe that evidently runs under my apartment because I do have a raised basement level apartment and which that's what caused my flooding so I spent the night until about 11 o'clock sopping up water with all of my towels so I didn't sleep much lucky I'm going to work today <laughs> okay so there's my concealer under eye anyway I am gonna go in with my glamouflage hard candy just because I want to cover up that chin monster that I have because I don't like him he wants to have a party on my face I have jumped back into my apple cider vinegar routine girls because I did slack off for a while with the move and packing and just craziness that was going on for a couple weeks if you haven't seen that video I will link it down below definitely check that out if you suffer from acne if you're not familiar with me or my videos I do suffer from cystic acne it's been an issue since I got pregnant with my son almost eight years ago and yeah so check that out definitely if you're interested like I said link will be be below okay so there is the concealer finished product as far as the foundation goes well not foundation BB cream so I use the same foundation because that's really all I wear okay so I am gonna set uh, my t-zone a little bit with some steam matte by Rimmel and then I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush maybe some bronzer Camera makes me look washed out. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. You hear Jada? Okay, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of bronzer. Here he comes. Say hi, Bobo. Hi guys. Hi guys. Ow, my I'm face. just gonna use my NYC Sunny because I've been neglecting her, and my um, Real Techniques multitasking brush because I love it. And I'm just gonna bronze up around my forehead a little bit. A little bit here. A little bit here. He's a ham, isn't he? And a little under the chin. Cheating. 
Okay. Ooh, I got an itch. Okay, so there's bronzer. Then I'm going to apply some blush. I'm just going to use my Master Highlight by Maybelline in, uh, what is this? Pink Rose. Woo! And my Real Techniques Blush Brush. Love this brush. I'm just going to dust a little bit of that. It's got a glow to it, so I don't have to put any highlight over it. Okay, and for lips, I'm going to use a new one that I bought yesterday. It is by Rimmel in the shade Pink Chic, number 127. Let me turn this light off back here. It's making me look crazy. Okay, so there you go. And that's it, girls. So here is the face. Check that out. I like the finish so far. I am going to check back in with you this afternoon, probably around 1 p.m., just so you can see how it's wearing, okay? So it is about 1 o'clock p.m. I have had the BB cream on since 7.30-ish this morning, so about five and a half hours. Um, as you can tell, I'm sure I am starting to have some oil, um, you know, surfacing around the forehead, nose, chin, cheeks, basically everywhere that I usually uh, do have oil seep up throughout the day. It's just something that happens. I'm not too happy about that being that this formula of the BB cream that I'm using for this demo review slash first impression is for combination oily skin. It um, claims to combat, you know, oiliness. And after about, I want to say about four hours, which is a stretch, I did start to see the oil. So, I mean, it's not to the point where I have to blot just yet, but I am going to run in and go to the gym and sweat and all that good stuff. So I do anticipate having to blot a little bit after that. Um, I will let you know later, but as far as right now, uh, like I said, five and a half hours wear, I do see some oil. Um, aside from that, I really like the coverage. The coverage is just a full, full coverage for a BB cream. It's phenomenal in that aspect. I mean, I really haven't, you know, had to touch up anything anywhere. Uh, it makes my skin look dewy and natural and just really pretty. I do like uh, the BB cream so far as far as the wear. Oiliness, I don't really, you know, I don't, I'm not too cool about, especially since it does claim to combat the oil. Um... It's always good when a product actually does what it says it's going to do. But despite that, I do like the way my face looks. So, uh, like I said, it's 1 o'clock now, so I will see you girls later on tonight. Bye. So, I'm back, and I am here for the wrap-up of my first impressions on the Garnier BB Cream, the combination to oily skin um, uh, formula, okay? I got the shade Medium Deep. I've had this face on since about 7.30 this morning. It is just shy of 7.30 p.m., so here I am. Um, as you can see, I do have a little bit of oil uh, that has seeped through. I just want to let you girls know um, I have not touched up. I have not blotted at all, so this is the face after about 12 hours. Um, like I said, a little bit of oiliness in here uh, in my forehead. I do notice a little bit of, um, uh, I don't want to say breakdown, but it's starting to shear out around my jawline, which is where I have um, the majority of my issues uh, as far as my blemishes and scars go. Uh, roundabout, um, I want to say 10.30ish uh, is when I started to notice the oil. It was not bad. Like I said, this is after a full day and, and I'm completely happy with 12 hours and this is the oil that, that I do see. Um, bottom line, I love this product. I think it's beautiful. I will just read to you some of the claims on the box. It says that 93% saw a more even skin tone after just one use. 88% uh, had a natural shine free finish. In the beginning, yes, I'd say that held true for about five hours max. 84% um, found pores less visible. I will agree with that. I do not have a primer on, and I don't know if you can tell, but I cannot see any of my pores. 
um, which I usually do have a problem with that around my chin area and also here in my nose area. Uh, so I do agree with that. 76% saw fewer imperfections. Absolutely. Full coverage BB cream, girls. I have never experienced anything uh, quite like this BB cream by Garnier. Absolutely love it. Thumbs up from me. Um, like I said, 12 hours and I still look presentable. If I did decide to go out in public, that's good in my book. So, uh, like I said, gets a thumbs up. Um... I really have nothing bad to say about it. I mean, I just set it a little bit with powder in the morning. And like I said, no primer. Didn't touch up throughout the day. It does not appear patchy. I mean, as far as like the, the little bit of rub off on my chin, I mean, that's natural. I'm one of these. So it's just going to happen. But like I said, uh, thumbs up from me. Love this product. Definitely well worth it. I think the price point was around $15. I got it on sale at, um, where did I go? Walgreens. Buy one, get one 50% off. So absolutely, girls, if you're looking for a new BB cream, run to your Walgreens. Pick this up. Awesome deal. Absolutely love it. I'm going to leave all the details down in the down bar. So just uh, be sure to check that out. Um, also some links down below for my acne remedy using the, um, apple cider vinegar. So be sure to check that out as well as some of my other videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do some laundry and wash off my face because I've just about had it after a 12 hour day. I love you girls. Be sure to subscribe if, uh, if you're not already subscribed, thumbs up this video. It really helped me a lot and I love you girls. I'll see you next time. Bye.